So my next song is from one of my favorite guitar players, especially of the last 10 years. And this song is a song that if you know one song by this artist, you know this song. It's Bright Lights by Gary Clark Jr. This song has some goddamn swagger to it. It's so cool. It's so badass. Just the way it comes in there on that, just playing those chords on the guitar, and then that huge booming riff comes in over top. I mean, listening to this song, you feel so cool. You feel like a goddamn rock star. When you listen to this one, when I listen to this one, that's how Mm. I feel anyway. And that's basically why this is a song that I wish I had written. There's so much power in it. And I just feel so cool when I listen to it. It's like, oh, I wish that was me. And I could picture myself on stage playing this one. Well, and I literally have, but playing it as the person who wrote it. I wish that was me on stage because this song it's got all the things that I like. Heavy guitar riffs, rip roar and solos. That's about it. That's about it. <laughs> no, that opening riff, I tell you what, Ringer, you don't you don't need to explain it after that to me, just because when he just comes in with that riff on top of the of the rhythm right there and he just goes Wah! and just holds and gives a little vibrato, it's like, damn, he's He's basically putting vibrato all over our souls that are just listening to that. It's just absolutely perfect, pure blues, perfect note to hit. He just hits it right. It's a pure blues genius. Right. And it's blues without being too blues. Yeah. Like there's elements of rock. There's, I mean, Gary Clark Jr. is a great singer too. So he also kind of brings yeah. his R&B flair into it as well in all of his songs, especially when he goes into his falsetto. But this song... Otherwise, it's so well paced. That riff, like we talked about, is so memorable. But the chorus, too, when you start singing Bright Lights, Big City, it's easy to sing along to. And I really like that element of something you can sing along to or something that's going to be memorable and working that into even like rock songs. I think the Beatles were a big influence on me in that aspect of writing where it's like they write these good songs that are poppy, but they're not pop songs you wouldn't consider that and that's kind of how I feel about this chorus as well and speaking of playing it on stage this was in a band that I was in about four or five years ago we covered this song and we'd always throw it into our live set and we threw it into our live set and it was a show where my parents came to see and then afterwards my mom was like oh I like that bright light song and I was like of course you fucking did of course you liked the cover she didn't know it was a cover at the time she thought it was Oh, one of, you know, I think we played like maybe it was a short like half hour set. So we played like six songs or something and threw in yeah. that cover. She's like, oh, I like that one the most. And I was like, OK, uh huh. <laughs> I bet you did. I bet you did. Yeah. But so maybe it's just that I want my mother's approval. And this is why I wish I'd written this one. Well, you were mommy's little mistake, so or no, uh, little <laughs> surprise. Excuse me. Sorry. Yeah. Pleasant surprise. My pleasant surprise. A, a pleasant <laughs> surprise. <laughs> yeah <laughs> oh gosh but i mean how how did you not want to write this song just because of the the musical aspect on the guitar but just absolutely beautiful delivery soulful melody that brings it on and it's just a great culmination of 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 just what gary, gary clark actually embodies almost this is yep. like his bohemian rhapsody almost yeah it's it's great love this one <laughs> 